The day of installation. A levitation base and other key components slot into place. Rowan delivers the test turbine in person. The team raise the sails 60 feet onto the barn roof. That's good. Keep it going. The turbine slips into place. There we go. And starts to spin. It works. The levitating turbine has no direct contact with the roof, which means less noise, virtually no vibration, and no roof collapse. But how does a floating turbine convert the energy created by its spinning sails into electricity? Once again, Rowan's solution uses magnetism. A set of magnets rides on the turbine's outer rim, and a loop of copper coils sits in its base. As the turbine spins, the magnets pass over the coils, generating electric current. It's ingenious and efficient. Rowan must wait and see exactly how much electricity his turbine generates, but he is convinced it marks the dawn of an energy revolution. What I'd like to see is a wind turbine like ours or somebody else's design on every single roof so that there can be local generation for people. City skylines have acres of empty roof space. Could this vast area be put to better use? Energy expert Dan Kamen must decide whether to back the idea. The news from the carbon counters won't exactly blow him away. They estimate that in a city like Acopolis, it may only make a tiny 0.13% dent in CO2 emissions from energy. The MagWin technology got a very low score, and I have to admit, I'm not all that surprised by it. This is because urban areas are just not great sites to harvest large amounts of wind power. Kamen thinks it could be a great technology in the right place, but not in Ecopolis. Yet its core principle has huge potential. Scaling up the MagWin design is very attractive because as you get to higher elevations and higher altitudes, you get to a very much larger and richer wind resource. His instinct could be right. Inventors are racing to utilize high energy, high altitude wind from way above the clouds. But the next carbon saving idea has already scaled stratospheric heights and helped us explore a faraway planet without ever setting foot on it.